Alright, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, Mom Sukus Gaming and welcome to my Black Ops Cold War. Treyarch decided to release the Season 5 roadmap earlier than usual, so in this video, let's go through it all and see what's coming. And if I must tell you guys, Season 5 is absolutely stacked and it is shaping to be one of the best seasons we've had ever. And if you guys are excited for Season 5, then make sure to see for the like button. For everything Call of Duty, make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bell and join the notification squad. Without further ado, let's get around to it. Let's start off by talking about the three new operators that will be getting in Season 5, two of which we already knew about and the third one is a complete surprise. The first operator is gonna be none other than Kitsune, the main focus of season 5. She will be part of the Warsaw Pact and she will be coming at launch. Now we already knew about Kitsune because not only there was the season 5 leaked image but also exactly day after that Treyarch ended up releasing the trailer so we already knew about Kitsune and that's quite awesome. Our second operator is gonna be Striker, he will be part of the NATO and he will be coming in season. Unlike Kitsune, this operator was not leaked before this, the only time we saw him was in the trailer that Treyarch released so that's gonna be our second of the three operators coming in season 5. Our third and last operator to be coming in season 5 is actually a very familiar face and that's gonna be none other than Hudson. He will be part of the NATO and he will also be coming in season. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this came out a bit of a surprise because Hudson was not leaked or rumored or he wasn't even shown in the trailer and out of nowhere Hudson will be our third operator in season 5 and guess what, still no Mason. What on earth? Hopefully we'll see Mason in season 6 but I'll just have to wait and see until then. Anyways, let's move on to the new weapons that will be coming in season 5. This season we'll be getting not one weapon, not two, not even three but four new weapons. Yes, season 5 will give us 4 new weapons, let's start off with the very first one and that's gonna be none other than the EM2 assault rifle and it will be coming at launch. The description reads the following, full auto assault rifle, well rounded British rifle with good fine control, built in low zoom optic improves accuracy, slower fire rate with reliable range. The EM2 assault rifle will be unlockable at tier 15 of the battle pass for free. The EM2 looks cool, cannot wait to give it a go in game and of course give you guys content on it. Our second weapon in season 5 we already knew about or was shown in the trailer and the season 5 image and that's gonna be none other than the Tech 9 SMG and it will be coming at launch. The description for it reads semi-auto submachine gun, improved accuracy from longer ranges with low recoil and slower fire rate, good damage output with moderate range. The Tech 9 will be unlockable at tier level 31 of the battle pass for free as well. Our next weapon is actually a very familiar one, we've seen it before in a previous Call of Duty game and that's gonna be none other than the Marshall pistol and it will be coming in season. If you guys remember the Marshall appeared back in Black Ops 3 as a DLC weapon so not everybody got a chance to use it but now it's gonna be unlockable via challenge and that's always amazing so we all can try it out. The description reads break action pistol, hand loaded double barrel pistol fires 12 gauge shells, excellent damage at close range with a one shot kill potential. The predecessor to a similarly devastating pistol seen in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, the Marshall is the most powerful loadout pistol in Black Ops Cold War, able to clear rooms with ease despite limited attachments. Now that's quite interesting because they said limited attachments, what do they mean by that? Can you only put an optic or can you put a magnet? magazine or what do they exactly mean by limited attachments we don't know so far we'll just have to wait until it comes out and we will see then and a bit of fun fact we saw Woods use this weapon in trailer and we thought it was gonna be a double barrel shotgun but it turned out not to be a double barrel shotgun instead it was the Marshall pistol our fourth and last weapon in season 5 is gonna be none other than a cane yes you heard that right a cane will be coming in season 5 what on earth when it comes to the weapons that would do it we'll be getting four new weapons in season 5 now let's move on to maps season 5 of black ops cold war will give us five maps to play two of which are new and three are remakes. The first map is gonna be none other than Echelon, it's gonna be a 6v6 map and will be coming at launch. Now if you guys remember, this map was actually leaked since last December, yes since last December and it is only now that I'll be getting it. And if you didn't know, Echelon is actually based on a real life place which is called Tuffelsberg, also known as the Devil's Mountain in Berlin, Germany. So Echelon is our first of the five maps. Moving on to a very familiar map, another remake from Black Ops 2, a fan favorite map and that's gonna be none other than Slums. It's a 6 v6 map and will also be coming at launch and just like echelon we already knew slums will be making its way into black ops cold war because it was heavily leaked a couple weeks ago so the tradition of bo2 remakes into black ops cold war will continue into season 5 moving on to our third map it's called showroom and it's gonna be for the 2v2 gunfight and the 3v3 face of modes and will be coming at launch if showroom looks familiar to you guys it should be because it's a small store in the other map the pines so once again while it's a new map technically it's not because it's just a small section of the older map the pines which we got in season 1 if I'm not mistaken. And just like that we are once again back to the remakes. Our last two of the 5 maps in season 5 are remakes not from Black Ops 2 which is a surprise, no instead it's gonna be from Black Ops 1. Finally some maps from Black Ops 1 and guess what, both of these maps we already knew they were coming because they were heavily rumored a couple weeks ago. The first remaster is gonna be driving from Black Ops 1, it's a 6v6 map and will be coming in season. Now the good thing about this map is actually in 10 years it is the first time ever it is remastered in any Call of Duty before and if you didn't know driving was part of the NI 
Annihilation Map Pack DLC for Black Ops 1. And moving on to our second Black Ops 1 remaster and the final map in Season 5, it's gonna be none other than the fan favorite legendary map Zoo. It's a 6v6 map and it will be coming in Season as well. And those are the 5 maps for Season 5. I wanna know what you guys think about this. While technically we got 5 new maps in Black Ops Cold War, that is, 3 of which are remixed, one is completely new and the other one is just a broken down section of all the maps that we have in Black Ops Cold War. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm very excited for these new maps, even though they are remakes, that's fine, the more maps we have, the better. Now let's move on to the two new game modes that will be added into multiplayer, one is a completely totally new game mode, the other one is a returning classic, let's first talk about the completely new game mode and that is Double Agent, now a lot of people are comparing this new game mode to Amongst Us because it really is similar. The new Double Agent mode infiltrates into Season 5, an investigative multiplayer party experience where each match assigns Double Agents who are there to sabotage the mission, communicate, investigate and expose the traitors, or successfully wipe out the investigating team to win. It starts with 10 players in a lobby who are assigned one of three roles. The first role is a double agent who must either eliminate everyone else or successfully set off explosive charges around the map. The second role is the investigator who can use clues to target suspected double agents as wanted criminals. And the last role is the operatives who must work together to identify and eliminate the double agents before it's too late. Okay, this is quite exciting, not gonna lie. Each player starts with a pistol and in the preparing stage you can go out around the map and collect weapons and equipment. Also, each role will gain access to unique skills and content during the round. Double agents will gain access to gas mines, counter spy planes, combat bows and attack helicopters and will also have protection from the radiation spreading from bombs they've set. While the investigators gain access to trophy systems, stem shots and hand cannons and can see the footprints of an attacker when examining a player's death location. I'm not gonna tell you guys I cannot wait to get in and try double agent, it sounds absolutely fun. Next up we have our second new game mode, it's a return classic like I said and it's gonna be none other than demolition and will be coming in season. Basically there are two teams, the attackers and the defenders. The attackers must destroy a pair of active bomb sites while the defenders must prevent their detonations. Moving on from that, as you guys know, each new season now means a new score streak and this is gonna be no different. Season 5 will be getting the flamethrower. Yes, we will be finally getting the flamethrower score streak after months and months of not only leaks but also track showing them in promotional posters and trailers. Flamethrower will be making its way into Black Ops Cold War in season 5. Also, as you guys know, new seasons means new prestige icons and emblems. Here are the four prestige icons, prestige 20, prestige 21, 22 and 23 and by now you know how the prestige system works we don't need to get into that in terms of multiplayer that would do it now let's move on to the new content coming to warzone first of all we'll have two new exclusive perks to warzone only coming in season 5 the combat scout and the tempered perks the combat scout will basically allow you to highlight enemies through walls no matter where they're hiding you will see them highlighted in red basically raven software added wall hacks to warzone beautiful <laughs> and the second perk the tempered perk will basically change the values of the armor plates as it is currently to be fully protected you need to use three armor plates if you're using the tempered perk if you use only two armor plates you will be as good as if you were using three next up warzone will begin new points of interest which is the mobile broadcasting stations and redacted the description for these new points of interest or pois is the following to help stitch and Persis bring about a new world order this network of clandestine entities have deployed mobile broadcast stations to boost the number signals all around verdansk as the name suggests these mobile stations can be placed in a variety of locations in verdansk different from match to match to keep one area from being signal boosted by the rewards they offer. See what they're all about by going closer to them, but be sure to keep your head and tune out the broadcast each one emits. NATO is aware of these recent Persis efforts and has decided to Redacted. Operators should look for Redacted when it arrives on Redacted within Verdansk as highly important Redacted. Okay, I cannot wait to get in and see what these mobile broadcast stations are all about and actually this new point of interest will lead to the mid-season event which is called The Numbers. Now we don't know much about the mid-season event, however we know it's going to be similar to the Hunt for Adla event where there were challenges there to complete, to complete them you earn rewards, but the description for the mid-season event reads the following. Whatever broadcast Percy's setup is causing the red doors to become more volatile than ever before, as operators are now reporting redacted in their post-mission briefings. Be aware of these doors sending you to locations other than the main room we all thought to be its lone destination point, and above all else, keep your head. This event may also have something to do with those mobile broadcast stations seen around Verdansk, but at this time we cannot declassify further intel for the fear of double A. Agents. Okay, the more I read about this event is really getting me more excited, cannot wait to see what happens, but we'll have to wait until the season 5 reloaded. And finally, for Warzone, the Gulag layer will be changed to the map Rush. When it comes to Warzone, that would do it, now let's talk about Zombies. Zombies will be getting a new perk, new field upgrade and a support weapon and they will all be coming at launch. First of all, we have the new Death Perception Zombies perk, which basically grants any agent who drinks it the ability to see obscured enemies by giving them a bright outline. Once again, you are given wall hacks, but this time in Zombies.
zombies. In zombies we will also be getting a new field upgrade called Tesla Storm and what this new field upgrade does basically lightning will shoot up between you and your allies stunning and damaging normal enemies and as you upgrade this new field upgrade this electricity can start stunning special and elite zombies and even boost your squad's movement speed. Okay that sounds interesting not gonna lie. And lastly for the support weapon is gonna be none other than the flamethrower which will also be making its way into zombies. Moving on outbreak will also begin a new region this time is gonna be collateral and it will be coming at launch. Alongside that there will be new outbreak vehicle which is the tank that will also be coming at launch and that's quite interesting not gonna lie. And lastly outbreak will also begin a new crafting item and that is none other than a grappling gun which will also be coming at launch. Okay I won't lie to you guys season 5 is looking absolutely stacked whether it's multiplayer warzone or zombies a lot of awesome content cannot wait to get in try them out and see what they're all about. But with that being said thank you guys for watching this video if you are excited for season 5 then make sure to see for the like button. For everything call of duty make sure to subscribe 10 on notification bell and join notification squad and I'll catch you guys later.